sun. We're starting to catch them now. I got a keeper red grouper. Look at yeah, this, boys. Nice red. On a jig. Yeah. Got a, <laughs> got a no right. Look at the blue crab coming out of it. Oh, look at that. A crab's coming out of it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Big old grouper. <laughs> Son. He is the current record holder with nine BASS Angler of the Year awards, has 19 BASS tournament wins, and qualified for the Bassmasters Classic 25 times. Folks, today we're going to do something special with my old fishing buddy. You might recognize this guy, Chuck Stevens, the manager of Bass Pro Shop. We've done two grouper films together. Nice big gag grouper, trolling for groupers, caught plenty of them. Yes, sir. Today we're grouper fishing, a different kind of grouper. We're way offshore. And uh, we're going to try some, what, we might catch some red grouper, might oh. set the gag grouper. Maybe a couple gags, a bunch well, of reds. It's 70 feet, 70 something feet deep here. And you just saw a bunch of fish on the depth pond. Yes, sir. We marked them, so we're going to stop so the drift. We're, okay. we're going to stop, throw the drift stock out, and see if we can pull okay. up a few grippers. Well, here's a drift stock, so I'm going to go ahead as soon as you get that thing going. Uh, see, you need to get around that way, and I'll put the drift stock, stop it, stock in. Okay. It's ready to go, right? We're good. In? Okay. Put that out. Okay. And we're going to fish a couple different ways. I love, and you've seen me do this before, folks. The Spro Jig. <laughs> that's that's a killer deal. We've been killing. We've, nice we've been whacking them on the jigs lately. And I got it rigged up a special way. I don't have any bait on this one. But sometimes I'll put squid on there. Oh. Sometimes I'll put squid on it. But today I'm putting this little tail on there, little white tail. And I'm going to throw it out there upwind, just a little ways. And uh, Chuck, what are you going to put on a pinfish? Yeah, I'm going to do okay. a pinfish. I'd okay. I'm going to put mine out there and let it sink down real deep, get to the bottom. Now remember, it's 70 feet deep. Got to be a line watcher. You don't know. These groupers, they can get pretty big. Bass Pro Shops presents Fishing with Roland Martin. Brought to you by Tracker Boats. Fish the finest. Gary Yamamoto Custom Baits designed by fishermen for fishermen and by bass pro shops your adventure starts here closed caption provided by spro lures bass pro shops is a proud sponsor of fishing with roland martin i picked up chuck's jig rod and, and i got a big old grouper on Oh, did he rock you? Ah, uh, I'm getting him up. He's a keeper, though. I'm trying to get this lead out of the way. I'm actually right, right-handed, so I got a left-handed deal. <laughs> hey, ah, uh, nice thing about spinning tackle, you can use both hands. He's a nice grouper, though. First time I dropped the jig down, we what we did, we moved a few feet, looked at the depth finder, and saw some good signatures on the depth finder. We have a real nice fish here. Nice keeper. Got a good one, boss. I'm sure it's a. I'm sure it's a keeper. I don't know. No, I got color. Yeah, big old one. That's a big one. Big one. Yeah, that's a big. Nice big red. red. Big red grouper. Big red grouper. Uh, want to just grab the leader? Yeah, I'll just leave that one. Yeah, that's a nice keeper. Nice keeper size grouper. Now, again. There's two different types of groupers that we're fishing for today. One is the red grouper, and that's limited as a 20-inch fish. And the other is a what they call a gag grouper, and that and that limit is 20, 22 inches. So this one, of course, is way big, and he's like 24 inches. I'm gonna keep one. As I told Judy, we're going to have grouper tonight, and I'm going to keep them. 
Remember in the, in the Gulf of Mexico, where, where we're in now, you have to use a circle hook when you're offshore. And I'm gonna go through the top, back right by the dorsal fin. That's about a big seven aught uh, circle hook. I'm gonna throw it back in the water. Oh, one's already hit my jig back here. Oh, ooh, oh, ooh, get it. Oh, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, he's probably already on. Okay, I'm gonna let him down. I'm gonna let him down. He, he's, this one here is just on the, that's the one I just threw out there. See what happens. Get this to the bottom. Looks like I have he that one already definitely. hooked. He doesn't look real big because he's not pulling drag. Not pulling so I'm, drag. Not, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to leave that one in. I'm going to reel this one up and see what happens. I don't know. He might be pretty good. He's not bad. Huh? He might be a keeper. Now, here in the Gulf of Mexico, what, 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 how big do they have to be, Chuck, to be keepers? 20 inches. 20 inches for the reds? 20 inches for the reds, 22 inches for the gags. Okay, well, we're in the sun. We're starting to catch them now. This is the one I just threw out there. We crossed it. You got a good one. No, I got a little one. You got a little one? Yeah. Mine's pretty big. Feel like a good one? I think mine's a keeper. What is that, a gag grouper? No, that's a red grouper. I got a keeper red grouper. Look at yeah, this, boy. Nice red. On a jig. Right off the bat. Oh, there's another one. I got another one on. Let me get that one. Here, I'm gonna, oh, here I'll get huh? this one. I got another one on. I got one on both rods. Oh, son. That's a good one. <laughs> Can it be any better? <laughs> see, see if this is as big. Okay. Okay, they have to be 20 inches long. Now, there's the 20 inch mark. He's not 20. Mine's not 20. Is that one 20? I don't know. Probably not. Probably not 20. Yeah, it might be. That one's 20. That one's 20. That one's 20. If you want to keep it, I don't know. You want to keep it or you want to throw it back? Uh, you want to keep a couple today or? If you want, what do you think? Yeah, keep that one. I'll throw this one back. All right. Okay. There we go. Throw that one. <laughs> this isn't just any spot. This isn't just any spot. Three years ago, uh, my cameraman Darren Shepard and I were out here just kind of wandering around and we found this spot. And it's still good. Darren keeps, that's why I'm up here right now. Darren said, the, the red grouper are back on the hole. And we're here right now. Well, those pinfish get down there and it doesn't take very long. <laughs> that a keeper? It feels pretty good. What do you think? Feels Maybe. like a keeper? Might be. I don't know, he's close, isn't he? I don't know line. So many of them are right, just about 20 inches. And he's maybe, maybe 20, maybe 19 and a half. Who knows? There's a lot of them. Holy moly. Oh, oh, I got that's one. a real I got one. one. I got one, I got one. He hit my, he hit my jig. That's he a real one right there. Oh, that's a big one there, boys. That's a big one. That's a big fish. Oh, heavens. You can catch fish like this from, uh, actually, the Florida Keys all the way up through Tampa. And we regularly fish off this Naples area. Well, Naples is kind of a flat, shallow area, but when you get up to Venice, where we are now, about 100 miles to the north, and it's deeper, it's deeper closer to the shoreline. So you get out to that 70, 80 foot water just a few miles offshore. We're only like 15 miles offshore. We fished yesterday um, down south off of Marco, and uh, we probably, gosh, we probably, I would guess it's anywhere between 100 and 150 grouper. Really? Yesterday, it was, it was on. What is that? That's a nice Big grouper there. Red. Look at nice this one. Guy. That's Big a nice, red. Old nice red grouper. Now you can grab the jig. Sometimes you can grab the head of the jig like that and lift them right up. That's a nice one. I know that's a keeper. It's a good 24, 25 inch. Yeah, one, that's it? that's a good red grouper. Uh, well, Chuck, it looks like what we've passed, we've drifted past them. We're gonna make another drift. 
Yeah, we drifted and, uh, over that, that spot, and we're going to just move up about, I don't know, six, 700 okay. yards here. Well, you uh, you picked the last spot, so you you, you got the deal right as far as running the boat. So. This segment is brought to you by Dill, Trailer TPMS. We'll focus on your tires, you focus on fishing. Mako Boats presents this segment of Fishing with Roland Martin. Get it on? Yeah. Get it on. <laughs> Get it on. All right. All right. Is that a big one? Yeah, feels pretty, pretty good. good. Oh, my pole it broke off. Nah, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. I had him coming. It was a good big one. Oh, yeah. That's a good keeper. Nice little fatty. Oh, yeah. Another nice keeper. Another nice keeper. Spitting up a crab. Yeah. We might, we might measure him, but I'm pretty sure that's a keeper fish. The whole blue crab coming oh. up. Look at the blue crab coming out of it. Oh, look at that. A crab's coming out of it. <laughs> is it live? Yeah. Look. Is it a live crab? I don't know. Hope not. Holy moly. Is that crab live? Holy moly. There you go. Blue crab. Anyone? That's a big crab. <laughs> he just lost a pound. About 21 and a half. Okay. I got one on this jig, but I don't think it's a keeper. I don't think. I could be wrong, but I don't think it is. And this is working out. You got another one on that jig? The jig is killer. <laughs> I'm catching as many, if not more, on the jig. That is ridiculous. The, I think the two biggest fish on the jig today. It's just jig is. It is a killer deal. I'm gonna let him go. He's a, he's not quite a keeper. Catch him all sizes on the jig. Catch him all sizes. I don't know if he's little or not. <laughs> I don't know what he is. Well, I don't think he's real big. <laughs> I don't think he's as big as what we've caught. I don't think he's a keeper. Might be a keeper. Not a keeper. <laughs> but you know, it's funny because sometimes now, now that he's getting closer to the top, he's fighting harder. <laughs> Maybe he is a keeper. But you know, so often, and what's so cool about this spot, so often is that most of them are smaller. And we, these are almost all keepers. Yeah, all this spot. This. So that's a pretty good deal. Go get another one. He's oh, a yeah. keeper. Oh, you got one on the jig. You got one on just hit your jig. Oh, yeah. Nice keeper. Good fish. You'll, you'll have to admit, though, that the jig, the jig is producing, though. For today's fishing, I'm using two different rods and reels. One is a spinner rod with uh, an offshore angler uh, Ocean Master rod. And it's a heavy duty spinning reel with 65 pound braid on this big pen. 65 pound braid. Now when I get it in, I have about, about a five or six feet, foot piece of 50 pound leader. Now, the groupers have torn all the bucktails off this Spro jig. It normally has more bucktail. But that's a two ounce Spro bucktail with, it's all messed up now, but I'm gonna have to change it. And with just a curly tail, that's that stretchy plastic curly tail by Spro. Okay, that's one rig, and that's really caught them good. Hey, that's caught some of the biggest fish today. The other rig is for the really big grouper in a lot of rock situations and a lot of the ledges, you need a big heavy reel like this, big HX reel, and this has 80 pound braid. It's again an offshore uh, Ocean Master rod, offshore angler Ocean Master rod, and I'm running the swivel. In this case, I, I have eight ounces of lead. You don't need eight ounces now with the wind quit blowing, but we were drifting, and this is eight ounces. And so then I have about eight or nine feet a 50 pound leader. That's 50 pound fluorocarbon uh, high catch Mamoy leader. Okay, and a nice pinfish. And that's a that's a six aught uh, circle hook. Remember, you have to have circle hook on bait when you're three miles offshore. Okay. Got one? Oh, I got one. I got them off. I got one.
Come on. <laughs> That's a real one.